Hey, what's up guys? It's Tips and it is currently 10 a.m. on November the 3rd, just a couple of hours before the Classic WoW panel, or should I say a Classic WoW interview that we're doing before the panel today at BlizzCon. Uh, I apologize first and foremost for my voice if it's a little bit low. My voice is absolutely shot, man, and I've got to be honest, guys, I'm so tired. Super exhausted. You guys probably saw that in Stay Safe's video if you watched it. I was just so beat by the end of the night. I had been up for like 20 hours, but it was like a very mobile 20 hours running all over the convention center. It's such a big place. And um, I was just working hard trying to make sure I got the best content for you guys and stuff like that. So uh, pretty tired right now. But that said, I didn't want to let you guys down. I did want to deliver my day one thoughts. And originally what I was going to do was each of these topics that I'm about to mention, I was going to cover them in like their own separate video, but I just don't think that's possible at this point. Uh, if I make videos about day one, it would take me like a week to make all of them that I want to make. So in order to be as efficient and effective with time as possible and to not burden you guys with a bunch of, you know, 10 minute videos, <laughs> stuff like that, uh, I'll just keep everything in one video and uh, we'll talk about each of these particular topics right now. Um, the topics that we're going to discuss are the opening ceremony, uh, the stream that I did yesterday right after the opening ceremony, the classic demo itself, although that one I do want to make a video specifically addressing it because it's a very, very important topic, the sharding post by CM Lore, which again is another one that I might make a big video on because if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know how strongly I feel about that subject. It's not a joke to me. And... Um, after that, uh, well, I, I want to talk about the Classic Cast meeting Asmongold and uh, the late night meeting we had last night as well, which was pretty interesting. Um, so let's let's go ahead and get started with the opening ceremony. And this video is going to be off the cuff. I'm not really going to edit anything. I don't really have much time to edit today. I've got a lot of things to do today. Today is the big classic day. So I'm just going to pretty much go off the cuff. Uh, I'm not going to really put too much background visuals for you guys. This might be more podcasty. I know I really like ass from Hill versus Babyface. So he says his as chats are more podcasty type videos. That's what this is going to be. Um, Go ahead and minimize it unless you want to look at my freaking worn out face all day uh, because all we're going to be doing is talking right now. But starting off with the opening ceremony, uh, to be blunt, guys, it was unreal. It was absolutely unreal. Uh, we had the media passes, so we were right up the front just watching. Uh, watching Mike Memeheim, as I want to call him, dude. Freaking dish out the shade on J. Allen Brack with the you think you do, but you don't meme. That was hilarious, dude. That was so funny. Uh, he's actually a really cool guy. You can tell. And uh, we watched Jay kind of take over, present some stuff. And uh, obviously when the classic stuff came, came on stage, when, when the classic guy came on stage, and he announced the release date. I went absolutely crazy. If you guys are watching S Fan stream, I apologize for destroying your eardrums because I could not contain anything. And everybody in the media section was looking at me like I was literally insane. Like, because because you have all these like fancy photographers and journalists and you know IGN and PC Gamer, and you got this guy just like whenever anything classic comes out, he just starts screaming like a maniac. It was freaking. It was embarrassing, dude. But I just, I could not contain it. Just the fact that it was happening, the fact that we got the release date confirmed, uh, more or less, and the fact that we got the submodel confirmed too, it was just, it was hype. And just being that BlizzCon, you know, the Anaheim Convention Center with all that energy, it, unreal, unfreaking real. Uh, very glad I came. But at the end of the day, uh, I was thinking a lot about you guys and you guys got me here and you know we, we actually we talk about you guys all the time like the community uh me as fans stay safe just thinking about where we were literally one year ago where we are now what we were doing i mean it all kind of it's been hitting us the past couple of days and it's very humbling and honestly i cannot echo my appreciation enough uh thank you guys for all of your support over the past year it's been life-changing literally but I, uh, after the classic wow news guys, guess what I did? I did not stay one second longer. Uh, I came to BlizzCon for one thing and one thing only, and that was for classic wow and to deliver to you guys the best classic wow content that I could. So as soon as the classic wow news was done, I left the convention center. I drove home, which is not too far away from the convention center. And I started streaming 
which is our next topic. I started streaming the classic WoW demo and the stream popped off. It exploded my biggest stream by far with no host. It was insane. We had like 2000 people at one point. It was amazing. The energy was there. I was super hyped. I got really emotional at the start of stream. I couldn't believe what we were doing. And it was just unreal to be playing classic WoW live for the first time in front of all of you guys. Uh, but that said, the demo itself, again, I do want to make a big video on it. I definitely have a lot of questions, as I'm sure a lot of you guys do. Now, with that said, though, I do want to refer you guys back to the Dev Water Cooler post that was posted two weeks ago. If you guys didn't read it, the last paragraph in that post basically clarifies everything that we're seeing in that demo, more or less. What it says is, guys, we don't want you to get the impression that the demo is almost complete or that Classic WoW is almost complete because it's not. We still have a long way to go. We're only putting this out for early feedback, yada, yada, yada. It's your typical kind of disclaimer. I think it was Blizzard understanding at that time that, hey, the community is not going to like a lot of what they see. We just need to make sure they understand it's still a work in progress. And I believe them. I believe them. It's still, you can tell a lot of the problems in the demo were simply things from the 7.3.5 client that hadn't been stripped away yet. And I'm guessing that stripping away process, um, it might be very, very manual. And actually, we, we talked to one of the Classic WoW devs yesterday, and he told us, like the slash LFR thing, if you guys know what I'm talking about, if you, if you console command slash LFR, the LFR window comes up or the LFD window comes up. He was literally like, yeah, we, we've been working on this game. Like we've been working on Classic WoW, putting in all these hours. The, you know, we, we had to get some kind of, you know, version of it out for BlizzCon. So it's a matter of like opportunity cost. Do we spend the time going back and deleting these files to make sure that no one can slash console command LFR? Or do we work on actually, you know, making the game smooth, run properly, getting all the abilities right, the talents, etc.? So I totally understand that. I totally understand that. And the question, uh, the, the analogy that I gave on stream yesterday was, you know, if you're at a restaurant and uh, a chef is cooking you a steak and, you know, halfway through, he invites you into the kitchen to see, you know, how the steak is sizzling. Um, it's difficult to be upset and, and tell him, hey, the steak is, is so undercooked. Oh, my God, where's where's the seasoning on it? You haven't put the seasoning on it. You haven't done this. You haven't done that. When clearly it's still a work in progress and he's still cooking it for you. So um, that said, that is absolutely not a call to pacify your concerns. There are a lot of concerns from the community. Sharding the big one, which, again, I'll talk about a little bit. Uh, I think, if anything, we need to be louder. We need to be hitting the forums more. Blizzard has been very keen uh, on, on communicating to us that they're reading feedback and that they're reading the forums and that they are literally bending over backwards to make sure they understand the community. So uh, I do think we should, we should uh, you know, hold them to that, I guess. And we should be very active on the forums. It's important to be constructive, um, obviously, but don't feel like being constructive means having to write a six page post as to why you're upset with something. I know when a lot of people hear like we need to be constructive and stuff like that, they kind of get not demoralized, but they feel less inclined to post because they feel like they have to write this big, long, juicy, meaty article um, saying something like, I hate sharding. It ruins my immersion. That's enough. That's enough. And the classic forums are actually free to use. You don't have to have a game sub to do it. So let your voices be heard. If you don't like something, say it. Say why you don't like it. And uh, hopefully they get the message about some of the stuff in the demo. Uh, but it is still very much a work in progress. And again, I do want to make a full video detailing my experience in the demo. Um, I think that's very, very important for you guys. And to call out a lot of the things that I'm pretty sure will be fixed. In fact, I'm pretty certain they'll be fixed. And to call out some of the things that I think may have slipped through the cracks and Blizzard does not necessarily realize are wrong with the demo. Um, but because we mentioned sharding, I'm going to move on to my next topic here. I don't want to drag this video on too long either. So let's, let's start moving a little faster here. Uh, yesterday, in case you guys missed it, CM lore posted something about sharding and uh, I'll bring up his post on the screen right now. Essentially what he was saying was that server stability is a very big priority for Blizzard. And while they understand that sharding is, uh, is very antithetical to vanilla, um, it may, you know, he never confirmed it, but he said it may be one of the tools that they might use for classic for the first couple of days to handle the chaos on launch. Um, very simply, I read his post. Uh, I wasn't mad. 
I, you know, I wasn't, you know, over emotional or, or reacting or anything like that. But I tweeted out a very simple message. I said, will I play Classic WoW if there is sharding? No, I will not. And after I sent that tweet, a couple of people DM me like, dude, no, don't put yourself in this position. You know, you're putting yourself in a tough spot, blah, blah. After listening to them very carefully, um, after hearing a lot of the advice, I would like to change my answer to, no. Will I play classic WoW if there is sharding? I will not. And I think that's something a lot of people in the community feel. Um, to me, sharding has is probably the most immersion breaking and soul crushing feature that has ever been implemented into World of Warcraft. It is literally the representation of the demise of community in the game. I understand why Blizzard did it for retail. Um, I can't argue on the technical side because I don't have technical experience, but I can argue as a player who just loves vanilla WoW for what it was. Sharding is one of the most, I don't want to say it's the most, but it could be the, the, the worst, most destructive feature ever implemented um, when it comes to community. And uh, yes, I do think Classic WoW could potentially be dead on arrival if sharding is used ubiquitously throughout the game post-launch. Now, here's the thing, though. I think this sharding issue, this controversy with the, with the post with Lore, represents a much bigger issue than just the sharding. And we did get clarification on the sharding, by the way. Oh, I, I want to talk a lot about the sharding problem, okay? Like this whole controversy, what happened? We, we went out on a limb to like find people to tell us what the heck is going on. But basically, I think the, the biggest takeaway I took from this was that uh, the community managers for current World of Warcraft complete respect to them. I can't imagine sifting through that BS day in, day out. I've only been a content creator for a year and I see it a little bit. Uh, sometimes you get the toxicity and the death threats and stuff like that. But I can't imagine what it's like to deal with that 24 seven from like 15 million people day in, day out. And I respect them a lot for doing it. But that said, I, I do think that the WoW Classic community probably needs community managers that are that are less ignorant to the community's not I don't want to say desires but just the community's thought process um, what I saw from lore and, and it's not bashing him or anything like that I'm not bashing him at all but I mean it just it blew my mind that a community manager actually thought it was okay to use the s word in the classic community I mean, that's like, that's like somebody thinking it's okay to walk into like a church and yell, hail Satan. You know, it's such a cardinal sin. Like every classic has, somebody asks about sharding and we rage about it. Every, every video about sharding, every stream, it gets brought up. I mean, there's, uh, it's just, it's so plainly obvious to be like just this thing you just do not talk about. You do not even consider for classic. Wow. Uh, and I understand Josh was being very kind of political with his answer and very PR with his answer and stuff. But I feel like if we had a classic community manager who understood the community and he was asked the same question that, that CM lore was, I do not think we would have had this controversy because I think he would have understood that is not how you answer that question and hopefully communicated to the dev team that sharding is just pretty much off the table. Um, and I, and do I feel like I'm being an extremist when I say stuff like this? I don't think so. I, I really don't think so. I mean, I, I think sharding is is that bad. I mean, it really is that bad. And I've heard the counter argument that, well, if you don't have sharding, what's the alternative dynamic response? Well, that wasn't Blizz like either. But I do think there are varying degrees of offense. And I think that some features are a lot worse for the game than other features. Um, and I would definitely pick the lesser of two evils in that situation. And again, I want to talk fully about my, my opinions on sharding. And I think the alternatives to sharding in another video separately because it's a very important topic but at the end of the day guys um i'm actually very happy uh, i didn't get to see everything you guys posted because i've been so busy but i'm very happy with with the community's kind of unification on this issue um i didn't see anything crazy toxic from from the majority of of posts that i read uh, again I, I could only read a few but I think you guys came together very well. Very proud of you guys. I wrote a post uh, as well in that thread about sharding. I quoted uh, CM Lore and I, and I gave him my response. But um, it, it's always good to see the community come together over stuff like this. And I think Blizzard got the message. 
And I'll talk about that a little bit more when we get to the late night meeting section in just a little bit. But sharding is going to be my priority today during the, uh, the the classic WOW interview that we're doing. That's the first question that I'll bring up unless somebody else brings it up before me. Uh, I just want to make sure that's taken care of for all of us and for the sake of classic WOW success. Uh, now moving on to the classic cast, the classic cast that we did last night. So last night we did kind of a later night classic cast. I'm not sure what time we started. Maybe it was like 8 or 9 p.m. at night. I can't remember. Um, we did it live with us, Asmund Gold, and Annie was hosting the Q&A section. And uh, it was great. I mean, it was just fun. It was fun seeing everybody face to face, hanging out with S fans, stay safe, you know, meeting them for the first time, kicking it with Asmongold. Uh, very cool group of people. We had a great time. And uh, we were all like packed together on this couch. <laughs> it was the most awkward thing ever. But it was really, really fun. And there's actually a moment in the classic cast where I go to like put my arm like back behind S fan because I'm sitting in a really uncomfortable position. And I didn't realize he was like leaning against the wall. So like there's this moment where I like I literally go back and like I just like freaking brush his hair with my hand just like like that, like all, all over his hair. So freaking weird, dude. Super catchy base. Uh, it was really bad. But overall, I think the class cast was great. I'm not sure how well it went because I was so freaking tired by that point. I was just like blanking out. But I feel like it went overall, I hope. Um we talked about BlizzCon, obviously. We talked about the sharding controversy and, and just classic WoW in general. But I think the overall sentiment um, to us was it, was it was cool to kind of talk about it, but we were all just waiting for today, waiting for the news that's going to come out today, hopefully at the classic WoW panels. I think at this point, we've beaten every topic to death. It's time to get some real answers, some official answers from some actual classic WoW devs. That is what we're excited for today. But yeah. Class cast last night, very, very fun. Sorry if it was really scuffed because of the signal, but uh, it was really fun to do with the boys. But on the subject of the classic WoW devs, we did have a late night meeting last night. Now, I, I'm not sure if I want to call it a meeting because, uh, you know, nobody was sitting around with pencils and pens and notepads and taking notes. We just hung out with somebody that's on the project last night, me as fan and stay safe. And uh, he was awesome. He was really, really cool. Um, but I think I realized something last night. Um, I don't think I ever want to hang out with, with developers because, I, I mean, I can't speak on behalf of everyone, but I, I, I think back to an old comment Total Biscuit made in one of his videos, may he rest in peace. Um, I, I think he used to say, or I, I'm pretty sure I've heard him say that meeting with developers, it can essentially compromise your journalistic objectivism. Um, and I think that's kind of true. I think when you sit down with somebody face to face, you know, you're sitting down, you have a meal with him, you have a drink with him, stuff like that. You become friends. And unfortunately, sometimes that friendship may cause you not to see very clearly and may cause you to accept certain things that you normally would not accept or maybe give a little bit extra benefit of the doubt and stuff. Um, I had a great time. We had a great time last night. He was a great guy. Like... You know, no, nobody at Blizzard is trying to influence us or anything like that. Uh, despite some of the comments that I read on Stay Safe's video, nothing like that happened. But I do feel like in general, just kind of maybe it's just me personally. Um, I'm a pretty extroverted guy. I love hanging out with people. And I feel like in the future, if that kind of continues, hanging out with developers, it might affect my ability to, to be objective when it comes to classics. So um, it was fun. It was a great experience. But I think that might be the last time I hang out with devs. Um, just because I want to be as honest with you guys as I possibly can. But aside from that, it was great. Uh, he did mollify a lot of our concerns. And I think there's a specific line that you guys are going to really like. Essentially, we, we asked straight up. <laughs> we asked straight up about the sharding thing. And, you know, more or less the answer that we received was, look, the demo was created as it was to be a presentable demo for BlizzCon. Meaning that, you know, there was time limits in mind. There was restrictions in mind. Um, they understood that not everybody could play it for more than 20, 30 minutes, stuff like that. Um, they understood that they only had 20 servers to work with. I mean, there's cost restraints when it comes to putting up servers for this type of stuff. So they couldn't just launch with like 300 servers and let everybody play. Uh, something like that is just way too expensive to maintain and to, and to put up front. So 
seeing sharding used in the demo or anything else in the demo that you guys might have been uncomfortable with is not reflective of the direction they're taking for the final game. That's exact. That's more or less what he told us. And basically, because again, you know, these guys have to be very careful. They have their own kind of legal departments and they can't say too much or anything like that. Um, essentially, what I think he was trying to convey was it's in the demo because it has to be in the demo. Is it going to be in classic? You know, he couldn't say no, but you know, you got to read between the lines sometimes. But regardless, I still want to bring it up today. Um, but aside from that, we just hung out, had a good time, heard some awesome stories. Uh, hopefully one day we'll be able to bring this guy on to classic cast. Just, just, you know, there's, there's some really cool guy, you know, I, I'm very happy this guy in particular. I'm really happy. He's on the project. Uh, he's a dope guy and he knows his stuff and they, they, like, we were surprised. Like they understand a lot. <laughs> like, like we were talking about D dire mall being implemented. Like they know the, the nitty gritty and, and that's what really impressed me the most it's always great to see developers that understand the community very very well and they're very passionate about vanilla make no mistake guys these guys love vanilla they they are doing everything in their power people said i was shilling when i said this dude the stuff we were hearing like it it doesn't make sense for a developer to know the nitty gritty of which patch judgment was updated and stuff like that like you know, I, I just, I was very impressed. I was very impressed. Um, but with that said, that's not giving anybody a break. There's still a long way to go. Summer, you know, people are really excited. Oh my God, it's coming this summer. Guys, summer could be as, as far away as August 31st. And we're in the beginning of November. That's 10 months away. That's almost a year, basically. So they still have a lot of work to do. There's still a lot of time to go. Um, basically another you know, yeah, it's, it's almost like another year. So I still think there's a lot of time left. They have a lot of work to do. They acknowledge that. And um, I think the onus is on us to continuously deliver feedback throughout this entire process and just hopefully, you know, help navigate the ship a little bit. But I do trust their compass heading. I do trust that they know what they're doing. Everything that I've seen from them um, has indicated as much. But again, not letting up, never will. It's not classic until it's classic. So... Uh, we'll hope we'll get there sooner rather than later. Um, but aside from that, uh, just kind of final thoughts here. I've been rambling for like 20 minutes. So just my th final thoughts uh, about last night, BlizzCon day one. I thought it was great. I uh, had a good time. I just, I, I, it just, it's crazy, man. It's crazy that last night, that, that yesterday happened. I'm, I just, I'm, I'm flustered. I, I'm literally fl flustered. I'm all over the place. I, could not fathom where I was, what I was doing, what position I was in while I was doing it. It blew my mind. And I think it's something that, you know, maybe a couple of days from now, maybe next week, maybe next month, I'm going to look back on and be like, holy God, that happened. And I'm um, very, very blessed, very happy, thankful um, to all of you guys for, for supporting me and, and you know, to everybody else that helped me out um, getting me to where I am and, and all that stuff. Uh, everybody on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. You guys are my first supporters back in March. And I'll never forget that. You kept me on my feet uh, just enough to kind of get by. Um, and uh, I will always be very grateful and appreciative of that. And anybody else, I mean, even if you never, even if you don't, you know, support uh, on Twitch uh, as a sub or on Patreon, even if you've just seen one of my videos, even if this is the first video you're ever seeing of me, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate all the support. And hopefully moving forward, I can continue to hold up my end of the bargain and make sure that we are expressing your guys' needs and concerns uh, as best as possible. And uh, hopefully, you know, to get the best version of Classic we possibly can. But that's pretty much it for me, guys. I, uh, <laughs> In case you guys haven't fallen asleep already, uh, I've got to go head out pretty soon here. The Classic panel is in about two hours from now or something like that. So I've got to go get prepped and drive over, and uh, yeah, hopefully get some clarifications for you guys. If you guys want to keep up with the event, check out. you can check out my video from yesterday or just follow. basically follow me on Twitter. That's like the best way to keep up with the event and to check out that Google Doc that I posted in my video yesterday and the day before yesterday. That's the Google Doc where I'm updating all the different questions and answers we get at BlizzCon. Definitely check that out to stay updated in case you guys can't watch the event or you don't have a virtual ticket. Um, so yeah, Twitter, Google, Doc, 
Those are the big ones. And if you guys want to check me out on Twitch as well, I will be streaming tonight too. Twitch.tv slash tips out, baby. All right. Promise you I'm done now. Uh, have a wonderful day, fellas. Enjoy BlizzCon. I'll see you guys tonight. And as always, tips out, baby.